97 blessings. And how many curios do we have? Okay, I don't know how many curios we have, but we have curios. That's I guess it basically the whole shot. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate with Fushuan and then into the path resonance ability and this. Oh my gosh, Fushuan! Oh my god, Branya just died. Wait, did she even take a turn? I'm so sorry, Branya. Uh, oh my god, Fushuan, calm down. So I just got home from work and I was grinding golden gears on my main to get it to C level 12 when my friend sent me the most insane strategy discovered by a content creator named Nackfrag. He's an awesome guide maker. Go check him out if you're interested in achievement hunting and other various guides. Anyways, the strategy that he provided is a guaranteed way for anyone to buy almost every blessing and curial in the game. This strategy is the closest thing to a guaranteed win. However, there is one exception. You'll need this in order for it to work the curio called price of peace and you need this at the start of the run so you're probably wondering hey where do i get this curio at the start of the run well we can get it from the initial blessing selection at the start where they offer you the chance to get a curio right here however there's a caveat it's never guaranteed so this is very rng therefore we have to start re-rolling however once you get this bad boy your win is pretty much guaranteed here's a condensed example and using only preservation characters here's how you can do it check it out okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start exploration pick my difficulty and then i wish i could do 12 i really want to but this account is locked behind six because i'm grinding it right now this is my main account let's go ahead let's let's do a little bit of fun let's do some preservation and see if we get every blessing in the game and then we're gonna pick custom dice heterogeneity custom dice company time that's the one that we're using here are the dice faces basically what we want is to get more fragments or to copy transaction domains right so these are good for that also perception general perception you can get that as well but you don't need to you can pretty, replace this with anything and so let's go and confirm company time and start curio price of peace please no we don't get it so for example if you didn't get the price of peace at the beginning which i didn't you can just go to the final enemy here so once you defeat the enemy you can go into the next domain which will then be able to reset your curio so i'm gonna go ahead and finalize and then restart and that should give me the curio again and then when we enter there we go. We can now select the curio and hopefully this time we get the blessing. We don't. So I'm going to have to repeat that process again. All right, let's go. Third time the charm. Oh, there we go. It exists. See, guys, it's just that simple. You just got to roll the dice a few times and there you go. <laughs> but there we have it. So yeah, once we get that, that's the RNG aspect of it. Once you get the price of peace, your run is almost guaranteed unless some for some reason you are so underpowered, underleveled underwhelming that it, it, it doesn't work out but yeah now i will show you guys the true power of this let's go do not use your fragments right do not reset your blessings just pick whatever you're gonna end up getting most of the blessings anyway so it really doesn't matter once you get through the combat you'll really never have to do any combat again unless you get really unlucky which i might but for now i'm going to go ahead and cheat here create more of these transactions domain early on so right away i'm gonna use my general inspiration if there's no transaction transaction domain next to me, which I recommend you doing. So in this case, we didn't get it right, which is quite unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. It's fine. And just go through it real quickly. Obviously, we don't want to discard our curio. I'm going to obtain one curio. Okay, and general inspiration again, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one of these domains. Okay, it's going <laughs> to nice, very nice. I uh, love it. And so I'm going to duplicate this. Hopefully we get one of these beautiful domains there we go perfect and yeah we're just gonna go this way and that's gonna give us five transactions domain and this is where the powerful price of peace comes in it's essentially what we want to do initially is to just buy the curios until we are able to obtain genius's gossip and so I'm going to buy not this one, buy the ones that are 150 fragments because you do get refunded a bit. And so we do get refunded 45 fragments, which is about 30% of what we spent. And so it's very important that we don't spend too much. So therefore, we're about spending like 60 fragments, if I recall, until we get Genius's Gossip. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to reroll here and hopefully we get something that gives us... Okay, there we go. When we enter a transaction, we get 150 cosmic fragments. That's perfect. And so that's going to help us out a bit here. We get 150. But yeah, we're just going through her to shop and the goal is to just buy the 150 oh there we go typical geniuses society gossip it showed up early before it was 45 
now we get 90 cosmic fragments back. This is quite insane. And same thing here. We're going to buy this curio and we get 90 fragments back. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the next transaction domain and we're going to get 300. Oh, in this case, we're going to get 600. This right here, typical genius of society gossip, it doubled our cosmic fragments that we got. So instead of getting 150, we got 300 from the price of peace. And then we also got 300 from the dice face here when entering a transaction domain, obtained 150 cosmic fragments. That's why you see it went from 400 to 1000. Is that we got literally 600 fragments from those combination of curios. And now we could essentially just buy out the herder shop and it will still be a net positive, right? So this is gonna, oh wait, don't buy this. Do not buy the cavity model system. You're gonna go bankrupt and you're gonna lose all your fragments right away. I would advise to not do it unless you know what you're doing. In this case, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm going to go ahead and buy the fruit and also the omniscient capsule. And that should be good enough. We are still 888, which is positive. And I'm gonna start buying blessings a little bit now as well. Okay, so once we have the genius gossips curio, then we are now able to buy our priority blessings, which in this case are preservation blessings. However, I don't see it here, so I decided hey let's just buy a couple that are looking good for example the hunt blessings that can give us another action so yeah that's the strategy focus the blessings for your path and then afterwards anything that looks decent however make sure that you have at least 200 fragments so that when you enter the next shop you should still be able to buy a couple more more blessings especially ones that you are going to have to prioritize and once we start getting the one that reduces the price of the um, transaction domains which is like i believe it's called something satellite we should then be able to buy a lot more of the blessings and not just the one that we are prioritizing. 900, yeah, so we got an extra 300. I'm gonna buy the Remembrance Blessing here. So we started with 900 and we're at 869. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy some Blessing here. Oh, we got a Preservation one, nice. But we buy that, we're back at 746, which is still, we're still positive, we're still positive. We started with 600. We're gonna buy more Preservation ones because that's gonna give us Blessings back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're technically losing like barely anything and this is quite insane strategy here you know what we're gonna buy just a few more because i want more variety in the next domain we have 500 so we're down 100 right we got literally one two three four five six blessings and curios for 100 fragments that is insane that is quite insane and so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the next domain as well so yeah this process repeats itself and you just essentially buy out the shop and we're into the boss and let's go see if we can take down this boss we have 200 extra shielding so that's nice i'm not going against the frigid ice out of space i'm going against this guy here and this is gonna take a while because we don't have all the blessings that we have and i'm using four preservation characters which is kind of kind of troll but let's see how we do <laughs> yeah okay i'm gonna skip this part it's gonna take a little bit of a long time for you know full preservation to ramp up with some editing magic there we go we're at the end ah we're halfway through so that was a fucking lie and we're not taking a single ounce of damage i'm just using my auto battle but yeah <laughs> this is fun oh there we go phase one completed Ooh, no i'm not gonna i'm not getting that that's the trap do not buy this it replaces all curios including your price of peace space time time prison sure why not why not i would like to get uh, i'm a reroll I, I need to be able to duplicate counteract there we go yeah i need to be able to duplicate this transaction domain here which it's very important for me to do right so we're going to duplicate it we're going to go this way this way so yeah that was basically the condensed example once you get through phase one phase two is a breeze it's going to go through quickly do the same process duplicate transaction domain go through transaction domain make sure you're using your cheats in order to duplicate them once you do that you get all the blessings prioritize preservation blessings once that is done you'll start getting this biomechanical satellite once you get that, you can then buy more and more blessings and it's going to cause you a fraction of a price. Basically nothing. Oh boy, this is going to be a big tank test. I'm going to see what happens. There we go. Reduces the price of shop item by 30%. This is what we want. Now we could essentially almost buy the whole shop and it's still going to be free, right? It's going to be free. Here, let me show you in the next transaction domain. So we start off with 800 fragments. <laughs> we could even buy this too. And there we go. We, we only spent 500 and we bought out the whole shop. And guess what? 500 spent we're gonna get it back okay do not buy this unless you want to lose all your fragments right so be careful i'm gonna go ahead and pick kakolia let's see how much damage we do okay we <laughs> oh God, dude what is this did 60 000 damage oh my god this is just a normal attack dude Oh my. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. She's already almost dead on her first life. No shot. 
Oh my gosh, she just hit herself for 370k. <laughs> and then normal attack and she's dead. Okay. He's gonna summon... Okay. Well, what are you gonna do when I blast you guys? Wow, 700,000 damage. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. 200,000 damage. The part is gonna shield here. Bigger shield, bigger damage. He's gonna summon. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate with Fushuan and then into the path resonance ability and this oh my gosh Fushuan oh my gosh Branya just died wait did she even take a turn I'm so sorry Branya uh, oh my god Fushuan calm down jeez Louise this is unfair this strategy is insane this strategy is insane wow ultimate here with Japard goodbye Coca-Cola <laughs> the part slam march normal attack 100k damage with march normal attack wow 50,000 damage and then our Fushuan is gonna blast her to oblivion here there we go slap her a little bit more hard plunge him and there we go that should be it wow that was the absolute easiest boss fight in the second phase i've ever had to deal with that was quite insane i'm gonna buy the doctor's robe which is even more insane damage for our path residents i'm skipping do not get the curio that resets all of our curios this transaction domain strategy is just next level it's just next level and we're gonna enter the transaction here it didn't duplicate the transactions for us i don't think which is unfortunate so at this point, we're in phase three. It didn't duplicate the transaction domain for us. However, that's totally okay. Save up your fragments now for the end so that you could upgrade your fragments. So you'll need about 2000 fragments in order to upgrade the majority of your blessings in the respite pit at the end. So make sure to save for that. Just try to get anything that will allow you to increase your fragments. And once you get the end, check this out. We're gonna upgrade every blessing. We have 2000, every preservation blessing, right? That gives us quake. And so that's gonna be nice us we do get fragments back so <laughs> yeah this is oh boy this is gonna be a little fun here this is gonna be a little fun here Woo! this this is such a big dopamine hit wait before we do that i'll show you guys let's see how many blessings we have 97 blessings and how many curios do we have okay i don't know how many curios we have but we have curios that's i guess it basically the whole shot <laughs> oh my goodness this is insane this is a hundred blessings almost wow and the run wasn't too lucky either it was just it was just yeah i'm able to just get every blessing every curio almost and i'm going to go ahead and upgrade them all starting with preservation one so let's go ahead i'm pretty sure i should be able to upgrade everything because we're gonna refund it oh my goodness this is op okay um we should almost be good now i honestly don't know what else to upgrade this, this is too much <laughs> it's just too much okay there we go uh, that's fine that's fine we've upgraded almost every main blessing uh, we're out of fragments here and we are good to go. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a field day. And just for funsies, we're going to do true sting because I feel like that's the harder boss. And <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, look at the damage. <laughs> They're just hurting themselves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is unfair. Oh, I should have waited. Actually, we're not going to freeze. There's no chance. I lied. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess uh, 500k damage with March. How much is it all? 500k auto attacks! And we have Hunt Blessing, which allows us to go back really quickly because we get more actions. 400,000. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is Disruption level 15. This is Conjurum level 6. I mean, hey. <laughs> this is kind of unfair, no? There we go. First life down. Oh my gosh, they are just killing themselves. 3 million damage? Oh boy. Oh boy. This is unfair. This is unfair. <laughs> Holy shit. We just took zero damage. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just shook right now. This is unironically the most fun I've had. Just watching preservation characters just take zero damage and deal a ton of damage. It, it, it's quite insane. This is probably the easiest strategy once you get the price of peace in, at the start. Once you get that, everything just just falls into the plan. You basically get everything you need, everything you want, and game is just over. It's just that easy. It's gonna summon. Go ahead and use my ultimate. Let's see how much damage we get, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my preservation path ability. One million. Five million damage it's our dude we're not taking an ounce of damage my shield are still white they're still white <laughs> oh my okay um yep yep knack 
Your uh, your strategy is kind of insane, dude. It's kind of insane. Oh, the, the boss just killed us. <laughs> the bot, the enemies just killed itself. Oh my gosh, what just happened? So yeah, post commentary me here. If you guys didn't notice that, um, the boss hit itself against my characters for 5 million damage. Oh my gosh, preservation is just OP. I'm going to try disruption 30 with preservation team because that's going to be fun. Well, it is a good strategy if you are struggling a lot and you want something that's near guaranteed. The only RNG aspect is, like I said, at the start where you got to get that price of peace. But once you get that, you can just go for preservation characters. You can even go with like just one preservation character like Japard or March or Fire MC and then you basically go whatever else you want and you're, you're gonna win because you have every blessing almost and you basically have them all enhanced let me go ahead and show you guys my characters this is Fushuan she's basically just a little bit tanky that's it with Landau's choice races yeah relics two piece plus two piece uh, relics don't really matter as long as she has some and the Eidolons at zero everyone's at zero eidolons by the way except for maybe the four star characters and they wanted my new life traces are not maxed out and relics for peace knight of pp set and there we go energy regen rope eidolons at zero march tank build light cone day one of my new life and let's go ahead yeah we're using four piece eagle for more actions which is nice we don't need that shielding because everyone else has big shields right already she is at e6 which is nice and of course fire mc going with the we are wildfire light cone preservation level 60 traces and yeah you see my characters aren't built that well you don't need your characters to be built that well because it's so broken this strategy is very good very op once you get that price of peace curio you're gonna be set and everything is just gonna basically fall in plan yeah and use this example and you should be good to go in terms of blessings just get anything that is recommended for your path first buy it from the shop once you have this right here genius's gossip you can start buying more and more of the blessings once you get the satellite that's when you should be able to buy most of the blessing in the shop so tldr of the strategy P price of peace is necessary so you need to re-roll for that once you get that you should be able to buy all the curios in the shop once you buy the curios you should eventually get the typical genius's gossip once you get this you could buy all of the recommended meaning all the blessings from your path that should be totally fine and you should have enough for that once you start buying the curios and finish buying the curios you should start to get this one right here satellite and once you get satellite you should be able to buy most of the blessings that you want or need inside of the shop so you could buy almost anything. And at the end, make sure you have about 3,000, 2,500 to 3,000 fragments in order to upgrade all your fragments. And that's basically the strategy. It's just that easy. Those three curios are essentially the most important three curios that you need and that you can get from transaction domains, right? And there we go. There we have it. I do need to get this to level 12 in order to uh, show you guys something cool that I found. So stay tuned for that. There's an even more insane strategy that I will show you that is probably even crazier and more fun and it's guaranteed absolutely gonna blow your mind out anyways that's it for this strategy with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye 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 now bye now see ya see ya